Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video in my How I Revise series. So today I'm going to be talking about how I revised my GCSE science exams. So my physics exams, my chemistry exams and my biology exams. So the reason I've incorporated all three of the sciences into one video is because I used exactly the same revision methods for all three of them. So, like I said in my latest video, my science exams were on the old specification, so the A star to G grading system, they're not on the new specification, so my exam style may be slightly different to the style of your exams, but obviously you can just adapt these methods to your own needs and what is required for your specification and your exams. So for biology as well, I did actually take all three of my biology exams, so unit one, unit two, unit three, in year 10. So I didn't revise those as well. My revision techniques weren't as sort of like sharpened as they are now, if that makes sense. So the techniques that I do talk about are predominantly for physics and chemistry. But I just sort of blundered my way through biology. So if you were wondering, I did get an A star in all three of my sciences, so physics, biology and chemistry. So my number one tip for GCSE science is make sure that you understand everything. Science for me was one of the hardest ones because it's not something like English where you can sort of like conceptualise it and it's based on your opinions and interpretation, whatever. You've just got to know the stuff. And it's really important that you understand everything for science because a lot of the exam questions are sort of adapting your knowledge to different questions or different scenarios. So you've got to really understand the processes in order to do that. Also, it's super important to understand everything before you even start revising it. Because if you attempt to revise something that you don't understand, then there is simply no point in that and you're gonna get nowhere. So if there is something that you're struggling to understand, make sure that you go talk to your teacher about it, ask them to explain it to you. Also, there are always revision guides that you could go and get. So I definitely recommend looking it up yourself and making sure that you do understand those bits that you are unsure on. It is vital that you understand everything in the specification because you never know what is going to come up in the exam. So you need to be prepared to answer every sort of question on every topic in the specification. Something that really helped me understand bits that I were a little unsure on is watching YouTube videos. A YouTube channel that I really recommend is called Free Science Lessons and he does really nice summaries on all sorts of different topics on most of the different exam boards as well and basically he explains it and I found that he explained it really well and it really helped me to understand things better by watching his videos, sort of making notes as he went along or making notes afterwards because it's one thing reading it in a revision guide and a completely different thing having someone else explain it to you. Also, that sort of goes with my second tip, and that is make use of your revision guides. I had a revision guide provided for me by school for physics, chemistry, and biology, because I was taking triple science. I don't think I've actually said that yet. Yeah, I took triple science, so all my sciences were like completely separate to one another. So I had a revision guide for all of them, and basically I make use of this, because this was my absolute lifesaver. But don't just read the revision guide. Just reading it is never gonna help you in any way. You've got to sort of adapt what you read and make it into your own sort of thing so then you remember it better. So what I did is I made condensed notes on all the pages of the revision guide so basically just condensing down all the information into just the bits that I need and sort of um, writing it out in a more simplified way and my sort of note taking method. If you do want to see how I take condensed notes and my note taking method then I do have an entire video on that on my channel which I will link somewhere around here and you should definitely go check out if you want to. Also something that really helped me is I would adapt the revision guide pages that was about a process into a flowchart. This really helps me because then you can visually see kind of the steps of the process and how they sort of follow on from one another and what comes after what, etc. Also, for definitions, I know there are some sciencey words that you may not know and I myself didn't know, so I made flashcards to learn them. 
you can use Quizlet for this. I think I use actual physical flashcards. The reason I'm not showing you any of this revision resources, by the way, is because I have thrown them all out, which is silly, but I didn't think about it at the time because I didn't know I was going to be filming this series, so that is why I don't have anything to hold up and show you, unfortunately. But anyway, yeah, so I made flashcards for my definitions. So on one side, I'd have like definition of viscous and then on the other side I would have like the definition. There are a lot of keywords that you need to know in science so it is worth making sure that you do learn them and you understand what all of them mean and sort of where they apply etc. As I say in all of my videos another massive tip is just do past papers. As I said before this was easier for me than it is for you because I was on the old specification, I had loads of resources, whereas I think you don't have as many. There are specimen papers, I'm sure you can find exam style questions as well, that you can do to practice everything that you've learned and practice your exam skill. In science, the exams are like quite difficult in the sense that there are keywords that the exam board often wants you to include. So you could know completely what's going on, you could answer the question, but if you miss out keywords, then you may not get the mark. So doing past papers and marking them, <laughs> I'm sure like you're all sick of me droning on about how you should mark past papers, but it is so important because then it will highlight any keywords that you're missing and it will also show like how the exam board wants you to sort of phrase certain things and the steps that it wants with the processes and basically it will help you to understand what you need to put to get the marks because i personally always struggled with things like that i would write something down in a question that i thought was perfectly logical and i thought answered the question then go to mark it no it was something completely different it was something very very specific that i had to say and it's just a matter of learning and sort of getting used to what the exam board wants you to say and how they want you to phrase things. So yeah, that was pretty much all I did to revise my GCSE science exams. There wasn't that many revision methods. I pretty much just made condensed notes, flashcards, past papers, and watched free science lessons. That is what I did to revise. So even though this video will be quite short, I think, I hope that what I've talked about has helped you and if it did make sure to let me know down below in the comments also as usual make sure to comment any revision methods that you find work for you because i have not covered all the ones that you could use and there could be some better methods for the new specification finally make sure to like subscribe and follow my social media which will be linked down below in the description bye guys